right, against the odds time, we are playing Five Color Creature Land Allies. Headlined by General Tazri, can help us find your pieces. So we're basically just playing a million creature lands. Sylvan Advocates, Mina and Dens, bunch of one of allies we can tutor for. Deck is super spicy. Also, every land comes into play tapped, which might end up being annoying. We'll see. Seeker of Z-Way. Ooh, there's the general. Sylvan Advocate's a decent blocker-ish. This is probably white-black tokens. Don't know if we have a good matchup against them or anything. Retreat to Emiria could be helpful. Also, well, let's just Sylvan Advocate here. We'd like to have pressure out in case our opponent plays uh, Gideon. Blue, green, red, white, so we're gonna need black mana with this. There's the Gideon. Tax with Seeker. Down to 15. Makes a token. All right, let's crack this. Oh my goodness, I don't even know. Gotta be black. We have more red though. We'll get Smoldering Marsh for now. All right, let's attack the Gideon. Opponent's gonna block. Then we will Silk Wrap, the Seeker of the Way. Bloodstained Mire, pass the turn. Obnixilis would be bad here. All right, makes a knight. That's not the end of the world. Soren. All right, probably makes a vampire. Yup, yup. All right, let's see. So we crack Bloodstained Mire, Cinder Glade. Well, I guess we just play Mina and Den and pass. Playing extra lands with the Retreat to Miria Suite, and it trigger triggers our rally effects. We don't have any rally allies at the moment, but sooner or later. So we'll just pass for now. Well, at least our opponent's not attacking with Gideon. That's good. Not attacking at all. That's really good. Silk Wrap for our Sylvan Advocate. Planner Outburst could be good in the future. Well, I think that here we just need to Painful Truce X3. Oh, man, and we didn't hit a land? Oh, 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 oh. That's bad. Now we're essentially dead if they have removal yeah oh we need to hit lands there well, that was that was frustrating oh lord the crazy one of sideboard negates and disdainful strokes seem good maybe going down a silk wrap and a hero since their removal doesn't really care about it <laughs> this deck is absurd all right game two we're on the play i oh, got lots of lands Lots of creature lands, good lord. And a Sylvan Advocate and a General Tazri to find our Mina and Den. Oh, our opponent's mulliganing. It's a good sign. All right, let's lead on, doesn't matter, Shambling Vent, Plains for our opponent. Uh, then we'll go with Lumbering Falls so we can get our Sylvan Advocate down. All right, there's Seeker of the Way. So now we get to Sylvan Advocate and Hissing Quagmire. <laughs> Too bad there's not a card that says you win the game if you control one of every creature land, because we're getting close to that. Opponent's gonna kill it. Let's him get in for three and gain three. Hopefully there's not a Gideon around the corner. Play McKindy Patrol, and then another Shambling Vent so we can activate one of them next turn if we need to. Blighted Fen means they don't have Gideon this turn, which is a win. Soren isn't as bad. Kalidus is kind of annoying. Retreat to Emiria. Cinderglade. Make an ally token. Gives us some protection against Blighted Fen. Pass the turn. Read the Bones. Alright, Read the Bones isn't that scary. We can deal with that. I think we're just going to chump with an ally token since it doesn't trigger Kalidus. They did find a land, Shambling Vent. Ooh. Yeah, I think it does. So let's go Fire Mantle Mage. Gives everything menace uh, whenever it or an ally enters the battlefield. Kind of works good in conjunction with our creature lands. So then we get to attack with our McKendi Patrol. Play a land. Make a token. And that's the other synergy here. That makes allies, so it triggers all of our rally abilities. We got six lands, so it is a four or five. And pass the turn. See what our opponent has. <laughs> Look at our board. Uh, I think it's horrible, but it is also picturesque. 
I think we'd mostly just like to keep drawing lands? Ab Nixilis. Reignited. Yep, kills Sylvan Advocate. Gets a zombie token. Let's see if our opponent actually tries attacking. No attacks. That's a land. All right, so we get to play General Tazzery. <laughs> We're actually resolving it in Constructed. <laughs> I think we just, well, we'll see if anything in our toolbox looks good. <laughs> oh, get a bunch of triggers. Uh, yes, we'll use ability. I think we just got to take Sylvan Advocate for now. Can play this Sunken Hollow, get another ally token. The question is, do we slam these things at Obnixilis? Double Menace, Double Vigilance. So we're going to slam both of these at Obnixilis. Since they have Menace, our opponent can't block both of them. They can block one, but they'll have to go up their zombie token, so they don't actually go up a zombie. They're going to kill the menace. We're going to kill the zombie. They're going to get another zombie. Alright, pass the turn, see what our opponent has. A fetch land would actually be a pretty sweet draw. They're going to ultimate price our general Tazri. Grasp of Darkness, our McKendy Slide Runner. Well, hopefully they're about out of action. They are getting a lot of zombies. If they can just kill our Sylvan Advocate too, then we're kind of in rough shape. I think we just chump a Seeker of the way. Another retreat isn't great at the moment, so we want to play this in a way that we can activate Shambling Vent or Lumbering Falls. Alright, Sylvan Advocate, pass the turn. Scoured Barons, jeez, they just have so much removal. Kills our Advocate, or exiles it. Uh, well, we are going to trade our Lumbering Falls with this uh, Seeker of the Way. Actually, maybe we trade Lumbering Falls and Token for Kalidus. Or just Lumbering Falls for Kalidus. Duh. That's obviously better. We get to keep our token. They get another token. We get a not very helpful negate. Pass the turn. That's a Gideon. Well, we definitely need to negate the Gideon. So negate that. If they have another removal spell here, like a Grasp of Darkness, we're really in trouble. Or just dead. Another Seeker. Alright, no removal spell. No attacks. Well, I guess we just have to pass. But we still might be dead if our opponent goes for it or has removal. Another Gideon? Yeah, that does it. Oh boy. Alright, against the odds, five color creature land. <laughs> General Tazri Allies. Uh, the longest deck name in the history of Against the Odds. Lumbering Falls. Creature land war. Shambling Vent, go. Oh, jeez. Alright, Needle Spires, go. Lutes with Jace. Pitches a Death Mist. Uh, Sylvan Advocate. Lumbering Falls. Pass the turn. Get hit by Advocate. Nissa Gets our opponent a land. Man, this Wrath is gonna... We're gonna have to hit this Wrath soon. Flooded Strand. Alright, let's Painful Truce. X3. Uh, I guess we'll just play another Needle Spires. Pass the turn. Guess we discard probably McKendy Patrol. There's an actual question of whether we live long enough to cast a Wrath, which is a little scary. What did Foothills cracks it? Still taking four, and that thing's going to get big. Flips Jace, pitching Jace, pumps it up, plays Jace, so many Jaces. Alright, let's go with our Mina and Den. Play land, play land, pass the turn, see if we can stay alive. Oh, Bounding Crosses. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If they have a land, we're dead. Yep. Alright, that does it. They get to activate Lumbering Falls and kill us. Oh boy. Um, Let's see. Fiery Impulse, Wild Slash, Roast, Murderous Cut, McKendy Patrol, and a Mina and Den. Try it like that. Zero Lander. Now this isn't exciting. Got to pass so we can draw this land. Play Windswept Teeth. Pass the turn. Oh, mana and standard is so crazy. We're going to have four colors next turn if we want them. Is this Jace? Yep. Alright, Wooded Foothills. Get Smoldering Marsh. Windswept Teeth. Canopy Vista. Then we get to play our Sylvan Advocate. And Sunken Hollow. Pass the turn. Loots with Jace. Discards Death Mist. Well, let's attack with Sylvan. Well, they could have Bounding Crosses, so we probably shouldn't attack. Let's just, uh, Painful Truce X3. 
Prairie Stream, pass the turn. There's the Bounding Crosses that we were predicting. It's going to untap the Jace to get another loot. So it looks like they're going to be able to flip the Jace, unfortunately. Pitch is another Death Mist. Well, maybe we should have just Silk Wrapped. Flips Jace. Pitching Sylvan Advocate. Pumps it up. Attacks with Crosses. Down to 12. There's the land. Well, let's Silk Wrap. Get rid of the Bounding Crosses. And then just play Cord Blade Whirl. Would have been nice to hit a land drop there. We drew a lot of cards and didn't hit lands. And then just pass the turn. Probably Collected Company. Yep. Jace and Warden. They can flashback Collected Company if they want to. It looks like they will. Reflector Mage and Face Up Den Protector. Bounces our Sylvan Advocate. Loots with Jace. Flips Jace. Pumps up Jace. Well, there's a land, so how do we want to do this? Let's, uh, let's play Mina and Den. Everything gets first strike, doesn't really matter. Play a Lumbering Falls and pass the turn. Oh, so many collected companies. Hits another Reflector Mage. Well, this is getting old, I will admit that. Pumps up Jace. Attacks for four. Alright, so now we need to go Sylvan Advocate. Silk Wrap, a Reflector Mage. Needle Spires, pass the turn. They're probably just going to Collected Company again for the fourth time. Oh boy! Dramoka's Command, and then do we lose? I guess we don't just lose, but mostly lose. They get back Bounding Crosses, tap our Sylvan Advocate, does some attacking, pumps up Warden, down to one. Shambling Vent doesn't really help, and that does it. Ay ay ay. Alright, against the odds, four color, five color, general Tazri allies, lands, combo, etc. Well, we don't have any white mana, but if we ever draw a fetch land, we should be in good shape. This deck is crazy. That much is sure. Yeah, we can get white mana with that. That's good. Now we're in business. Unlocks almost our entire hand. Sunken Halu. Is this Elvish Visionary? Oh, this is like a rally deck, most likely. Well, Pluto Delta, crack it, get Prairie Stream. Play Shambling Vent. Take two from Visionary. Another Visionary. Hmm. We don't really want to kill either of those. Oh, that's good. We can play Blade Whirl. At least it's a blocker. Play Lumbering Falls. Pass the turn. Sadisi's so Faithful. Bounce the Blade Whirl, etc. Sure. There's a Jace. Well, I think we just need to Silk Wrap the Jace. Replay the Blade Whirl. And then play Smoldering Marsh. And the next one we might be able to play our General Tazri, depending on what happens. Catacomb Sifter. Alright. Well, I think the plan here is just to General Tazri. Give everything first strike, search out an ally, and then I think we just want, I guess we just want Sylvan Advocate, and then play Sunken Hollow, pass the turn. So next turn we can retreat plus Sylvan Advocate, or Utter End in Sylvan Advocate. There's a Reflector Mage, gonna bounce our General Tazri. Alright, that's not the end of the world. Gets in for two with Catacomb Sifter. Ooh, Silk Wrap two? Well, let's just play our Sylvan Advocate, leave up Utter End, and also Shambling Vent activation. Support Cutthroat, Jace. Let's see what our opponent does. Nothing. All right, let's utter on the Jace. Don't want to let that stay around. All right, I think we're I think we're in good shape. What do we get? Shambling Vent. Well, let's just let's Silk Wrap. Get rid of Zulaport Cutthroat. Opponent's gonna sack to get a Drain Trigger and a Scry, and then we can retreat to Emiria. Shambling Vent. Make a token. Is it worth attacking? Probably not yet. Because they would just block with everything, and they want things in their graveyard, most likely. Ooh, man. Well, let's go Sylvan Advocate. Activate our Shambling Vent. Gonna be huge. 6-7 Shambling Vent. <laughs> so hopefully they don't hit a bounce spell, but even if they do, we get to replay the land and trigger our retreat. So it's not the end of the world. Collective Company. I guess a Sack Outlet might actually be worse. Oh my god, they just whiffed. They just whiffed on Collective Company. <laughs> wow. 
That doesn't happen very often. Well, we will not complain about that. Leaves it on top, but we go up to 19 past the turn. A fetch land would be awesome. Fetch land might win us the game. Cutthroat. Do they have a sack outlet to go with it? Sifter. All right, they're doing it the old-fashioned way. General Tazri. So how do we do this? I think we want to just go Firefield Mage, activate our Shambling Vent, and then play this Firefield Mage. So each creature can only be blocked by two or more creatures. So that means they can't just uh, block with the Scion token. And then attack with our Shambling Vent. So if they want to block it, they got to at least block with two things. So they can't just use the Scion token to uh, to counter our life gain. I guess they could have a collected company, maybe? Might be a possibility. All right, there's the Sack Outlet. There's a Fetch Land. All right, how do we do this? I think we activate Shambling Vent. Then we play Windswept Teeth, make a token, trigger our Rally Abilities. And then I think we just swing with everyone? Well, not everyone, but all our big things. Because we can activate this again if we need to. They're just going to try to set up for a big rally by the looks. You got to block with at least two if you want to block. Alright, I'm sure our opponent is going to sack out their board with Husk so we don't gain the life. Yep, and they're kind of on the back foot. They get to bounce two things, but even that isn't just deadly. Well, I let that one go. All right. So we're down to 19. Our opponent's down to just a husk. I'm sure their plan is to rally here at some point. Get everything back. Unfortunately, we can't just kill the husk. All right, we got to ship it back. Yep, they're just going to rally right now. They get everything back. Get a couple scions. Bounce our firefield mage. Bounce a sylvan advocate. So if they can just string together rallies, then we will potentially be in trouble or will be in trouble. That's a lot of draining. All right, we crack this. Canopy Vista. Make a token. Needle Spires. Let's play General Tazri. Gives everything first strike. Searches out an ally. And I think we just take Lantern Seer. Play the Lantern Seer. Everything gets first strike. Everything gets lifelink. Play Needle Spires. Make a token. Double first strike, double lifelink. I expect a lot of sacking and scrying. The odds of our opponent not finding a rally are probably slim. And the second rally will give them enough drain triggers to uh, kill us. So they're going to sack out their entire board. Get a bunch of cutthroat triggers. They've scried to the bottom so far. So I guess it's not impossible that they could not have a rally here. And if they don't, then we could actually win. So we'll see. I mean, do they have a rally? That's the... Once they rally, we scoop, because they can sack everything out again, bounce a bunch of stuff again. Looks like a rally. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, they have exactly enough damage. Well, that's something. Rally is quite the deck. So we need anything that could be helpful. Dispel, Duress, Hollowed Moonlight, Negate, take out McKendy Patrol, take out a Hero, a Planner Outburst, this Resolute Blade Master. Could even try Infinite Obliteration to get Nantucko Husk. So let's try it like that with a bunch of weird one of sideboard answers. All right, game two against R Rally. What do we got? Um, bunch of lands with no white mana. All right, well, uh, we'll try it. Painful Truths should be helpful. We'd like to get our white mana for Stasis Snare. Ugh, another Mina and Den. Not exciting since it's legendary. Probably should have paid Hissing Quagmire there in case we drew Sylvan Advocate that we could cast. There's Jace. Ooh, Infinite Obliteration's interesting. Well, if we draw land, we'll have Infinite Obliteration. If we don't draw land, ooh, and Fenza. Not a land. Painful truce to make sure we hit a land here. All right, we did hit a land eventually. They're going to be able to flip their Jace, which isn't exciting. Pretty bad for us. Elvish Visionary. So we'll just discard a General Tazri here. Flips Jace, pumps it up. And I'm guessing they have Collected Company in hand. All right, crack this one, Swept Teeth. Canopy Vista. Uh, what's the plan? Let's just play Shambling Vent and pass. And if they collected company, we'll counter it with Hollowed Moonlight. And Dispel's actually not a bad draw. Dispel 
takes care of the next collected company or a rally. They might just try to flash back collected company and now we can dispel it and maybe dispel it unless they also have dispel. Yep, sweet, we're surviving. Another land, not bad. So I think we just want to stasis snare to get rid of that Anafenza. Play a Shambling Vent, pass the turn, opponent cracks Flooded Strand. Well, Rally is not too scary at the moment, but we use two of our best counters for it. Catacomb Sifter and Felidar Cub. Ooh. Felidar Cub's bad. That gets back Anafenza and maybe kills us if they have a bounce spell. Play Silk Wrap. Hit the Catacomb Sifter. And then fire up Shambling Vent. I'm sure they block with Felidar Cub, sack to get back Anafenza. Well, they just sat. Yeah. Or do that. I guess I should have saw that coming. At least we gained back two life. <laughs> We're pretty far behind the eight ball here. The problem is, like, we can play Mina and Den or General Tazri, but they just have those one and three mana bounce spells, and then we just lose. So I don't know what else we can do. We're just pretty stuck. I guess we could draw Wrath. Retreat doesn't help. We can play Mina and Den. Doesn't really save us, because the chances of them just being able to bounce it are really high, or Murderous cut it, and then we just lose. Yep, Rally is a good deck. Alright, against odds, five color creature land General Tazri allies. I guess we'll keep this. Uh, I don't think we can keep General Tazri right now, though. We need things we can actually cast in a reasonable amount of time. So we need green and blue mana? I don't think we can get both, though. Sack this, get Canopy Vista. We'll play Shambling Vent. Painful Truce is helpful. Mountain for our opponent. Shambling Vent. So this looks like Mardu, probably. Well, let's play Lumbering Falls. Pass the turn. Opponent passes. So let's fire off a Painful Truce X3. Play Needle Spires, so we have red mana. Pass the turn. We're kind of doing somewhat all right. Kind of depends on what our opponent has. Gideon is still pretty annoying here. Polluted Delta. Cracks it. There's Gideon, of course. All right, makes a knight. Well, we get to play Windswept Teeth, make a token, and pass the turn. Read the bones. All right, that's not that scary. Tax with the knight. Okay, we can deal with that. Take two. Makes a knight. Well, let's crack Windswept Teeth. Get a prairie stream. Make a token. Maybe we just play this Resolute Blade Master? Play Resolute Blade Master. It gives our ally tokens double strike. Bloodstained Mire. And we're going to pump up our creatures with this one. Send both the tokens at Gideon. Point. Can they kill? Are they going to kill a token? That feels pretty bad. Alright, Gideon down, token down, so that went extremely well. Pass the turn. Now we can give this uh, Blademaster double strike at instant speed if we need to, with retreat. Because it makes an ally token, so we can trigger rally at instant speed with it. Soulfire, Crackling Doom. Well, let's crack this in response. Get a Smoldering Marsh. Make an ally. And this way our ally will have double strike, so we can trade with the knight if we want to. Which we will. Ooh, planner outburst. What's the plan here? I think we just silk wrap to get rid of soul fire. Gonna fire impulse a token in response, that's fine. Then we'll play shambling vent, make another token, and leave up shambling vent activation here on defense. Painful truce X3, draws our opponent some cards. Another shambling vent. Seeker of the Way, and no attacks. Well, let's uh, play another retreat, play a Lumbering Falls, make two more tokens, trust that our tokens can keep us alive, and play a Painful Truce X3 to draw some more cards. Ooh, double Sylvan Advocate and Mina and Den. Well, if we can stay alive, that's pretty sweet. What does our opponent have? Another Gideon. Alright, I think we can kind of fight through Gideon. Makes a knight. Tax with Seeker. We are just going to throw all of our allies in front of it. Actually, no, we're not. We're just going to block with one. Just chump. That's safer. We could get blown out with prowess and a spell or two. Ooh, Stasis Snare is interesting. Play Needle Spires. Make 
a couple tokens, play a Sylvan Advocate as a 4-5, play a Sylvan Advocate as a 4-5, and this leaves up Shambling Vent Activation and Stasis Snare. All right, another Crackling Doom. As long as we don't get burnt out, I think we're in pretty decent shape. Down to five. So hopefully they can't just, like, Goblin Dark Dwellers into Crackling Doom into... Well, I guess they, since most burn spells are two damage, they need three of them to really kill us. They go with Duress. Yep, takes our Stasis Snare. Gonna roast our Sylvan Advocate. Down to two cards. Activates Gideon. Well, we are going to activate a Shambling Vent. If they want to spend a card to kill it, that's fine. Shambling Vent activated. So we're going to block a token with that if they don't kill it. All right, they have another removal spell. So block, 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 block. Maybe we double block a token. Yeah, let's try it like that. Another Mina and Den is not really what we were hoping for there. So how do we stay alive? Red, green, well, I guess we go red, green, black, and white. Play Mina and Den, then green, red, pick up a land, and then replay the land, make a token, make a token, and then green, red, uh, give it trample, pick up a land, replay the land, make a token, make a token, and then we will hit Gideon for one. Uh oh Oops. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Yes, they have a shambling vent. Oops, oops, oops. So we can make four tokens a turn for the foreseeable future until they kill our Mina and Den. And they are about out of cards. They're down to one card. Activates Gideon. Activates shambling vent. All right, they're out of cards. We're actually okay. This isn't that bad. Because we have another Mina and Den, so we get to just chump everything and do the same exact thing. But then our opponent is out of cards. So that is not a complete loss. Block everything. And now if our opponent ever whiffs, we can take over the game really quickly. Ooh, well, Painful Truce isn't great. So let's do the same thing. Play Mina and Den. Green, red. Give a creature trample. Bounce a land. Replay the land. Make a token. Make a token. Give a creature trample, bounce a land. Uh, we gotta make our tokens first. Replay the land, make two more tokens. And now we hope that our opponent whiffs for a turn and we can take things over from here. Kalidus, sure. Hissing Quagmire. Play Hissing Quagmire, make two tokens, bounce a land, uh, giving a creature trample. Replay the land, make two more tokens. And then I think we just pass the turn now and leave up creature land activations. Makes a token. Plays land. Sweet. That's good. Lantern. Ooh. Lantern Scout is spicy. So we can give all our creatures plus four, plus four. Let's, uh, let's try. Uh, yeah, maybe we try that. We gain so much life. We play Lantern Scout. Give all of our creatures lifelink until end of turn. Then we pick up a land, give a token trample, replay the land. Creatures get plus one, plus one. Creatures get plus one, plus one. Then we pick up a land. I think we're going to get there, maybe. Give another token trample. Pick up a land, replay the land. Creatures get plus one, plus one. Creatures get plus one, plus one. And then we will attack all of our tokens at our opponent. That's eight tokens, so 40 damage, so we're gonna gain 40 life. I think it worked! Mina and Den comboed off. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Retreat plus Mina and Den is pretty sweet. And General Tazri lets us uh, search up Mina and Den to put it all together. <laughs> what a crazy deck. Activates a Shambling Vet. They're going to try to block out of it. It's not going to work well. They're killing tokens, which we can make four of a turn. And we're gaining so much life that nothing they do really matters. Uh, so we kill a Shambling Vent and a token. They take 30 and we gain 40. Sounds good. <laughs> we can deal with that. Bo 
boom, up to 45. All right, we'll pass the turn. We're going to crack their fetch. I wonder what outs they even have to this situation. Now we can just let them attack us. It doesn't even really matter. I really like the the retreat plus Mina Den plus Lantern, or just like any rally creature. The synergy is really sweet with the ally tokens, since you can make them an instant speed with fetch lands and stuff. And we got there! <laughs> Opponent scoops it up. Sweet. What can we bring in? Disdainful Stroke, Negate. Um, taking out Hero, a General Tazri. Uh, alright, we can keep this ish. We can actually play a lot of things in our hand. And we drew the land. Alright, Shambling Vent, go. Lumbering Falls, go. And we are just going to. Eh, let's just Silk Crab, get rid of Soul Fire. Hope that there's no Gideon. Looks like there is a Gideon. Couldn't leave up our Disdainful Stroke, which is disappointing. I guess we're going to have to fight through with the... Shambling Vent, is it? Whoo! Well, that makes our life a ton better. Uh, Hissing Quagmire, pass the turn. Leave up our Disdainful Stroke. Seeker, sure. Ooh, Retreat. Well, I think we got to stay patient. we got to play... Let's just play Core Blade Whirl. Needle Spires, and pass the turn. Opponent likely has a handful of removal. Maybe our opponent's just flooded. Oh, it'd be so sweet to actually win this match. No attacks. Woo! Lumbering Falls. All right, let's uh, play Lumbering Falls. Play Sylvan Advocate. Core Blade World gets first strike. Not gonna attack though, just in case they have a spell. Opponent cracks their fetch. We're still at 18 too, and we're like somewhat stable. Feeling good about this one. Nothing? Oh, man. All right, let's uh, go with Painful Truce, X3, and then one, two, three, four. I think we just passed the turn. Man, we're probably safe to attack, right? Oh, I really don't want to lose Sylvan Advocate. All right, let's just pass. We don't want to play the land because we would like to play a retreat first to start generating tokens. And we can do it next turn and still leave up a Disdainful Stroke. Oh, man, we're getting there. Oh, man, and it's and it's a fetch land. All right, so now we get to retreat to Emeria. Bloodstained Mire makes a token, and now we can attack because we're going to get first strike. Gives everything first strike. Get in there with our Sylvan Advocate. Murderous Cut. All right, let's let it go. I would rather hold our... I would rather hold on to our Disdainful Stroke than keep our Sylvan Advocate alive. I think that's more important. We're going to take over this game with Lantern Scout and Tokens here in a second. Because we have two more retreats. We're going to be able to start making so many tokens, or just making our creatures huge. Retreat number two. Play the land from our hand, and we'll make a token, make a token, and let's just pass again. Keep playing it safe. We got Gideon covered. We got a Wrath covered. Infinite Obliteration. Sure. I wonder what they even take. Lantern Scout? They might just scoop when they see our hand. We're going to have three retreats to Emeria. Oh, they take Mina and Den. All right, for the combo. I can't believe they brought that in against us. <laughs> Mina and Den is so good to our deck that people are sideboarding in Infinite Obliteration to get it out. That's a badge of honor. Opponent is going to attack? Alright, well, we will uh, sack our Bloodstained Mire. Get a Smoldering Marsh. Make a token. Make a token. This is going to give all of our stuff first strike. So we will just literally put the entire team in front of the Seeker. Drawing lands is still fine. Radiant Flames. Alright, cleans up the board. Well, let's, uh, let's just play another retreat. Play Sunken Hollow, make three more tokens. Pass the turn, leaving up Disdainful Stroke. Abbott. What's our opponent hit off the Abbott? Chandra Flamecaller. Well, that's where our Disdainful Stroke is going to go. That is certainly not going to resolve on our watch. Ooh, Polluted Delta? Do we just win? Maybe? I mean, essentially. We get to 
play a Lantern Scout, gives everything lifelink, activate a Lumbering Falls, play a Pluta Delta, pump up all our creatures. We're going to get there. Attack with everything. Box Lumbering Falls, crack Pluta Delta. Oh, no lands left. <laughs> oh, that was a blowout. Well, we still should get there, but that was not part of the plan. We're up to 25. Opponents down to 5. Dark Dwellers. Guess gets back infinite obliteration. Sure. It's not really too scary. I don't even know what they name. We're actually going to win with 5 color creature land general Tazri allies. Mina and Den combo lanterns here. The name keeps getting, lo keeps getting longer. <laughs> and they've infinite obliteration our Mina and Den and our general Tazri. Oh, this is absurd. Oh, and we draw land. Alright, so, um, how many, how many of these can we activate? Red, red, white, blue, green. Activate needle spires. Blue, no. Oh, I messed up. We tapped improperly. Alright, windswept teeth pumps up the team. And that does it! <laughs> we got there! <laughs> Five color creature land, general Tazri allies, Mina and Den retreat combo with Lantern Seer. Dot deck. Getting it done. <laughs> oh man. So what did we learn this week? Um, general Tazri is really hard to build around. It is one of the more challenging against the odds we've had in a long time, in my opinion. Uh, I initially started trying to build like a black-white life gain ally, ally deck, and then I realized it wasn't really in the flavor of General Tazri because it has this five-color ability, so it felt wrong to build like black-white allies uh, when we have this five-color General Tazri is the card of the week. So, so we went pretty deep, and I'm really happy with how the deck turned out. I think it's really sweet. There's some problems. Too many of our lands enter the battlefield tapped. A little slow and clunky, but but the deck actually turned out really good, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out, and I think some of the combos and synergies are really sweet. Uh, obviously, Sylvan Advocate is good with creature lands. The real all-star synergy, I think, was the Mina and Den combined with Retreat to Amiria. That just creates so much value. It's, it's really an insane package. And General Tazri, just kind of tying the whole thing together, let us play these silver bullet allies so we could search out a Lantern Scout to gain some life, search out Menace or Vigilance, different abilities to give to our creatures, and also search out the two key ones, obviously, Mina and Den and Sylvan Advocate. So, it's not a competitive deck. There's no two ways about that. It's... It's just not a deck that you can really expect to win a lot with, but it's a fun deck, and it is a flavorful deck, and I think it's a pretty sweet deck. Like, even in losing, I enjoyed playing it, and a lot of times, for me, that's a way that I judge decks. Like, if I can have fun with it, even when I'm losing, then an, <laughs> then I think the deck did its job, even if we lose a lot. And I don't know how we <laughs> won that last game overall. Got to play four matches because they went kind of long. In those four matches, we won exactly two games, but luckily they both happened to be in the same match, so we actually won a match. Uh, but overall, the record uh, in the percentage is about 25% match and game win percentage, which, you know, isn't great. Obviously, isn't competitive. And in a lot of the games, it felt like we weren't even close. <laughs> and there might be ways to do it. Lowering the creature land count to have more untapped lands would help us be a little less clunky cutting some of the less powerful allies, like the double strike five drop, and replacing those with more removal uh, would also be helpful. But I think for what it is, I think it's a pretty sweet and fun deck, and I definitely enjoyed playing it. Anyway, make sure to check out the website, mtgwolfish.com. We got decks, prices, metagame strategy, pretty much everything and anything you could want related to Magic the Gathering. And if you enjoyed our General Tazri five-color ally creature land combo deck featuring Mina and Den and Lantern Scout. I think I got the name right that time. Make sure you click the subscribe button that's about to pop up on the bottom of your screen. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the videos and I will talk to you soon.